Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another Roblox Blender tutorial video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really simple accessory. Some of you said my previous tutorials were a little bit tricky so I thought okay let me make something that's so basic even a baby could do it or like a grandma that's got no idea how to use a computer. I'm sure all of you guys are going to be able to make this. So what we're going to be making is a signpost hat accessory or you could also use this as a back accessory if you wanted to. Have you guys seen the classic Roblox verified sign before it's like a really iconic hat and even though the mesh and texture is so simple it looks really cool so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own version of this in today's video you can put any picture you want on it well as long as it's in line with Roblox guidelines all you need is blender paint.net some of the Roblox studio plugins and a dummy avatar all links will be down below in this video's description so let's go and open blender and let's go and make a signpost hat so we're in blender version 3.6.1 I think it's the latest this version I haven't checked for updates but all of the new updates are the same anyway so we're going to start off with our cube now normally we would go ahead and we would delete this but for this video the sign posts are so easy to make we're actually going to keep the cube I'll tell you what guys if you just go on the scale tool here you just want to scale it using the red option just move it down a bit obviously holding right mouse click and you want to get it kind of like this from here you want to make it just a little bit more skinny and you're going to go for something roughly like that you could always scale it up a bit later but yeah that kind of looks like a sign to me that looks fine then we're just going to get the bottom part or the blue scale option and again we're just going to scale it down from the top and as you can see you can scale it up a bit eventually you're going to get something that looks like a signpost obviously use the green option as well scale it down just a little bit obviously i'm holding the middle mouse button to rotate around and that to me looks yeah that's pretty good that's not bad at all so if we just select it what we're going to do guys is control copy and control paste yep we're going to paste in an identical copy but with this new one we're going to scale it down into the post now we're making like the um post so obviously the middle part's the sign this is going to be the post part which we're editing right now so just use the red tool to make it a bit smaller then if you just go and scale it up with the blue tool and then just maybe move it down just a little bit of the move tool as you can see yeah we've got a very very basic sign post now you can play around with it here you can maybe make it a bit more skinny you know you can customize it how you want to if you want your post to be wider that's definitely something you can do and yeah so far that's looking pretty good i'm pleased with this so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to select it. I'm going to go into edit mode this time. So you want to change it. Then you just want to do shift N. Yeah, you want to recalculate the normals, make sure they're not inverted or inside. Otherwise it might bug out a bit once you import it into Roblox Studio. So like this, it's perfectly fine. Now I'm going to add a little border to my signpost. And this is a little bit different than the classic Roblox ones. But the reason why I do this is because it just makes them look a bit more modern. It just makes the quality look a lot better. So what I'm going to do is control C control v again i'm going to press s just to scale down this block we just sort of like copied and pasted you want it something like that just so you can see like an outline border sort of thing and what you want to do guys is very carefully just go and move this forward you can actually scroll it to the side here to see where you're going to put it maybe something like that yeah that's not too bad that looks pretty good and pretty much guys we're going to select the original sign and we're going to add in a boolean modifier so if you just go on the little sort of um, modifiers like spanner tool if you go and add modifier you want to choose boolean and what we're actually going to select is difference we're going to go and select the object which is this sign area in the middle and then if we just change it to apply it's going to cut out a shape if i just select this middle bit and delete it you can see it's cut out a section in the sign actually we're just going to do Control z because we want to keep this this is what i like to do right i like to scale it down really small maybe something like that so it's really thin then we're just going to use the drag tool just to drag it back a little bit but don't make it go through the post area and as you can see if you get it looking something like this it adds this really fine border and when you go to add the textures this looks really nice like it just improves the quality of it by so much so there we are that's my signpost i'm happy with that actually i think that turned out quite well so let's go and make the texture now there is in fact a few ways of making a wood style texture. You can go ahead and use AI. So for example, um, DAO E3. This is like one of the latest ones. This one uses Microsoft Bing. If you type in something like 2D wood texture or wood texture, you know, basic wood texture, sometimes you can create stuff that looks like this. Now this is okay, but I kind of wanted mine like a bit more basic. And I tried quite a lot using AI and I couldn't really get any designs which I liked too much. Now this is a bit weird, but also kind of funny. I found out if you guys have got Microsoft 
Microsoft PowerPoint, you can actually make a really good free to use wooden texture. I know it's a bit random. I'll let you guys download this if you want it, if you don't have PowerPoints. I'm sure you guys have got it at school, so you could always do this at school. But if you just right click, then you want to go to Format Background. If you go to Picture or Texture Fill, you can actually change this to wood. This has been a thing on PowerPoint since what, like um, the early 2000s. As you can see, I've got a bag texture. I sometimes use this one. But yeah, they've got some really nice wooden textures. So you've got walnut, um, you have, what's that one, oak. I might be using this one actually. And you also have the standard one, which is just medium wood. So any of these work really well and you can modify them. So, you know, it's not copyright or anything. Yeah, that's no problem at all. So I think I'm gonna go with this one and I'm just gonna edit it a bit. I'll tell you what you can do. You can press print screen on a keyboard. And from there, you can literally just like crop it out and then you've saved it as a texture. It's literally as easy as that. There you go, snipping tool, it's saved it. I think that only works on Windows 11 though. Okay, I think it's been around um, five minutes now. And basically I've changed it up. I turned it on its side. I added in some cartoon effects because I thought that looks quite cool. And I've also changed the color because I didn't want to directly copy it from PowerPoint just in case Microsoft owned a copyright on it or anything. So I thought I'd change it up a bit. But yeah, this is some like dark oak wood. Looks like something from Minecraft actually. And I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Once you have your wood grain texture ready, now you want to choose any picture you want. Basically, you want to find something you want to put on the sign. So you could choose anything. Maybe your Roblox character or your pet cat or a picture of your grandma, I don't know, it's up to you. You could even go ahead and draw something like a smiley face or something, I don't know. For this video though guys, I'm going to use this. I did say I would be making free random accessories for people which own the Sharkbox plushie and I thought seeing as I'm making a sign, I might as well make a sign exclusively for the Sharkbox plushie owners. And I think this came out kind of well actually. Yeah, I like that. I love my Sharkbox plushie. So there we are, I'm gonna use this. Now one thing I would recommend is obviously have your picture in the middle and also like enlarge the background. So in this case, my background just pure white. So you wouldn't want it like this where the borders are too close. If you have it something like this, it's going to work a lot better. So yeah, I'll just go and save this. And basically I'm just going to put it onto my wooden texture. So I'll tell you what, I could probably just copy that across actually. Yeah, if I just add in a new layer, um, let me just make that a lot smaller. Anything like um, that. Yeah, anything like that's perfectly fine. So now if I merge these and I'm just going to save it. So that'd be file, save as. And you guessed it, you want to rename this thing to anything you want. So you could just call it like um, sign texture yeah that would work save it and then we should be able to open this in blender and get it working it's going to be quite easy to add the texture on this item so back into blender let's go and add the texture i'll start off with the middle bit because this is where the main sign is going to be so if we just go onto material we can go and click on this then click on base color we can add in an image texture then what we're going to do is open it my one was called the sign texture so that's what i need i'm going to click on this and open the image then we're going to go on to uv edit Thing. And basically, guys, we're going to map the sign to the middle. So if we just zoom in a bit here, there you go. Along the top, if you just use your scroll wheel, you can change it to the other option so you can see the texture. That's a lot better. Now we can see what's going on. So if we press A and then just go on the rotate tool holding shift, we should just be able to rotate this round to the right side. So yeah, that's looking right. And it looks like it's using the middle square. So if I just go and move this, um, let's have a look. Yeah, it's definitely using the middle bit. So yeah, that's pretty simple to set up. We can just enlarge. Yet. There you go. That looks good. I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to grab these side bits here just by selecting them, holding control. And if you just go and move that without bending it too much. So that one to go there and then we'll do the same for this side as well. That's just going to go over there. As you can see, it's going to start to look pretty good. So maybe I'll have it something like that and then I'll do it over the top as well. Yeah, pretty easy to set up, honestly. One for the bottom as well. And that, guys, is how you get an image on a sign. It's not really that difficult, to be honest. And yeah, in my opinion, that's looking pretty good good. With the rest of these bits, uh, you can just sort of move them onto the canvas. You can leave them where they are. You won't notice because it's all behind. I guess you could go and add them all onto the white areas. That should also be okay. So I just add that on there. I'm just going to do this very quickly. This is only a very basic item, so you know, it won't matter. And I'll just stick that there. There you go. That is absolutely brilliant. I'm very happy with that. So if we switch this back to the layout and then enable this, you can see there you go. The signpost is working. Now, as I was saying, guys, we're going to add in the border and to the sign, which is all going to be wood. So I guess we should also add in the texture on these. So base color, that'd be the image texture, then the one we've imported. So sign texture. We'll do that on the lamp post as well, just quickly. Why not? So image texture. Then again, just go and select the sign and we can map these as well. So let's do the stick in the middle first. The back's looking pretty good, but the front's a bit messed up. So let's go on UV editing. And um, yeah, you guessed it, guys. You want to press A. You want to go and move it over. As you can see, it's going to go on the wood there. I think for this one, I need to rotate it, don't I? To get the gradient matching. Is that right? Yeah, 
yeah, there you go. That's not too bad. So I'm assuming this bit here, that's probably the front. So that bit should probably be enlarged a bit. I oh, know, maybe made smaller. Oh yeah, that looks better. You guys can play around with this. Um, it's not really going to matter too much. You won't notice it. These signposts are so small. As long as all of it's on the wood and not uh, covering the white parts, it's going to be absolutely fine. You can make it a bit smaller though, just to make it blend in a bit nicer. But if we just go and take a look at that, that should be good. Yep, that has came out very, very well. Looks even better than Roblox's one, to be honest. So now let's go and do the frame. So we're just going to click on the frame. That would be UV editing. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're just going to grab it, press A to select all, just go and move it onto the wood parts and then just go and shrink it down basically. Maybe something like that. So have a look, is that all right? The back's looking quite nice. The sides, mm, yeah, the sides might need a bit of work. So press A again. So, okay, I've got to figure this out. Which bits would be the sides? Oh, it's that bit there, I see. I've just been playing around with it, guys. And I think I've got it to pretty much perfect. That is not bad whatsoever. The back looks good. The top looks good. What about the bottom? I guess that doesn't matter anyway. The sides, I'm fine with that. I was going for like a wood cartoon effect anyway. Maybe this side, I could probably uh, edit it a bit. That might be that bit there. Back into layout, guys. All you need to do at this point is just go and have a look at your sign. Make sure you're happy with it. Just check you're fine with how the text lines up and everything. And if you're happy with how this looks, just obviously turn it around, look at the back. And yeah, we can actually join this together. So obviously you want to select everything. Make sure everything is selected. Right click and join. From here, you can also right click and shade it smooth and it will just give it quite a nice effect. As you can see there, it just looks like a proper Roblox accessory. And what you guys also want to do is just remove all the materials until you're left with one of them. That should be fine. And we have got a Roblox sign. Now I'm just going to import a dummy here because I kind of want to scale it to one. I'll leave a link to one down below in the video's description. But if you go to file and then go on import and then go on OBJ, so that'd be the wavefront one. I've definitely got one in my accessory files. There you go, dummy avatar. So we're going to go and import this. And my sign, oh, I got that pretty good actually. That's not bad scaling at all. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to move my sign up. I'm actually just going to rotate the dummy around. Normally I'd rotate the item to the accessory, but I think in this case, I'm just going to hold shift and just turn it around. So with the sign, wow, how did I get that so good? I don't even think I need to enlarge that at all. That's really strange. Normally I make the items way too big. Anyway, wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, I'm impressed with that. So that is how you make your own Roblox sign. And I guess we can save the texture and actually upload it to Roblox. And we've got to save the mesh as well. So let's right click on the item, set origin, origin to geometry, and then I'm going to click the dummy and delete him. Say goodbye to this guy. We'll get one in Roblox Studio. So we're going to click on this. We're going to go to file, export. We're going to choose OBJ. Give it a name, guys. Um, signpost. Yeah, that should be fine. Signpost in your downloads folder. Export that one. Then go into UV editing. We're going to go into image. We're going to save the image as sign texture. Uh, let's just call it mapped. And then we're going to go and save this one as well. So save image as. And now we're done, guys. If you want to upload this to Roblox, if public UDC is here already, then yes, you can go and upload it. And that's how you make a Roblox signpost. Okay, so now we're in Roblox Studio. I'm just going to show you my plugins tab very quickly. Basically, I've got the Asset Creator, the UGC Thumbnail Tool, and also the Load Character Pro plugin. You can use the free version of this if you want to. All plugins will be linked down below in the video's description. So the first thing you want to do is go and load in a character. So yeah, you can type in a username. Um, I normally go for Noob1 because this guy's avatar is like very good. As you can see, I've already spawned it in. I just renamed it to Avatar1. But yeah, you can type in your own character if you really wanted to. So yeah, I'm going to use these ones. I um, imported them in R6 because I think that works quite well. So I'm just going to right click anywhere on the page. We need to go on insert object and we are going to type in mesh because we need a mesh part. So once you click on that, it's going to load in. And basically guys, we need to open up our little signpost mesh onto this. So if you go on view and properties, you can go and open the mesh ID, which is this little file folder icon. Go to your downloads, find your signpost. So obviously that's my one. I'm just going to go and open it. Uh, we're going to do no on that one because otherwise that spawns it in in some random location and once it spawns in we can also add the um, texture so just make sure you click on it go to texture id this time we're just going to add an image we're going to upload our new texture so then select choose file go and have a quick look for it so my new one was this one you can tell by the date modified and also because it's a sign texture so we're just going to go and open it we're going to click on create just give it a few seconds to load in um, yours might be faster than mine my roblox studio is a 
little slow. So once it's done, it's going to load in. Oh, mine disappeared. Now it's back. What we're actually going to do is click on our little noob character. We're going to copy the position and we're going to copy this onto the sign. So where it says position, just go and paste in what we just copied. So control C for copy, control V for paste, press enter. And now it's on our character, but we still need to position it a bit because it's still got the blender positioning. So I'm going to rotate this thing just using the rotate tool, holding control. Oh, if you go into model, make sure it's on by like 45 degrees and we're just going to turn it around. There you go. Now we're going to use the move tool as well, just to move it to the top. And that guys is how you make a Roblox signpost and you can make it smaller in here. You can shrink it down a bit, but honestly, I'm happy with that. I think that looks quite cool. Just check it. Just make sure you're okay with it. As I said, mine, yeah, that's really awesome so now i'm set i could either upload that to the roblox website and um yeah i can basically turn this into a ugc item and to do that we're going to use our other plugin we're going to use the asset creator so once we're happy with it select it go on asset creator also go on view just bring up your explorer you could always rename it here if you wanted to so maybe you call it like a sign or something that might be a good idea but we've got our sign selected so accessory next yep the sign next the character it's on so avatar one next this one's a hat so next again this one's a classic so next next and finish we're going to close off this then we have our sign now if you want to test this you can go and drag and drop it into avatar 2 i think i forgot to do that in my previous video right so avatar 2 is that one let's just go and drag and drop it so our sign accessory goes on to avatar 2 and as you can see if you move the avatar around yeah it works perfectly fine and what you can do from here guys is actually upload it to roblox so if you were to select it go on plugins go on ugc thumbnail tool basically you just want to zoom out go and accept the thumbnail so maybe something like that go and accept it i'm pretty much right i can upload this onto the roblox website so i guess i'll go and do that now now since udc is not actually public just yet yeah it's not public at the time of recording this video i can't show the process until everyone is allowed because otherwise i'll get kicked from roblox udc that's just the rules so i'm going to upload it i'm just going to skip this bit and then i'll show you what it looks like once it's on the website and here it is guys the accessory is now on the website so the shark blocks plushie sign this is going to be a free item to anyone which obviously owns my plushie and yeah so if you own the plushie make sure to go and join the new shark blocks plush owners group i'll leave a link to this group down below we're still accepting members obviously it's taking a while i'm probably going to give this away fairly soon i'm just going to make sure that everyone that wants these items is in the group before i start releasing them and there we are that's what it looks like on my avatar so i did position this one slightly higher than the classic roblox ones just so it fits in with accessories and things but i think this ended up working very very well these signs are really easy to make they honestly look really amazing and yeah if you're new to blender go and give this a try because this is like a really easy beginner's accessory here is the sign inside of a game as well on my avatar so yeah i'm happy with this that's awesome and i guess that's pretty much it for this video all links will be down below in the video's description again if you own a shark blocks plushie yes you can get this for free i'm probably going to give it away around november 1st maybe a bit earlier we'll just have to see what happens and there you go thanks for watching guys